new. I just moved here from Africa. What? I used to live in Africa, but now I live here. Like, it's pretty simple. So you've actually never been to a real school before? No. Shut up. Excuse me, bitch. Who are you talking to? Shut up. Girl, I ain't even talking. You need to be quiet. Close your mouth. You're, like, really pretty. Girl, you don't need to lie. I'm over here looking like a whole double-decker biscuit. You think you're really pretty? Regina, I just call myself a double-decker biscuit. What do you mean? Do you, you agree? Girl, no, I don't. Oh, my God. I love your bracelet. What bracelet? Bitch, are you... What? So fetch. What did the little one just say? <laughs> oh, it's like slang from England. Have you ever been to England? Oh, if you're from Africa... Why are you white? Girl, you... Oh, God. All of my business, I swear, they called me over here. We want to invite you to have lunch with us every day for the rest of the week. I'm good. I, I really don't want to. So we'll see you tomorrow. No, you won't. But no, all you're going to see is some disappointment because I'm not going to be showing up nowhere. Regina, we have to talk to you. Oh, this is going to be good. Let me get my teacup ready. Is butter a carb? Yes, yes it is, Regina. Stupid ass bitch. Regina, you're wearing sweatpants. It's Monday. <laughs> Regina. Oh, oh, oh. So? So that's against the rules, and you can't sit with us. <laughs> bye bye now, Regina. Whatever. Those rules aren't real. They were real that day I wore a vest. Because that vest was disgusting. Damn, bitch! You is so rude, girl. Those sweatpants are disgusting, too. Uh-uh. You can't sit with us! <laughs> Score! These sweatpants are all that fits me right now. You sad, hippo-looking bitch. Regina, don't look at me like that. I see those Doritos and that cupcake right there. If you worried about your weight, you better put it down. You can walk home, bitches. That's where you're going, fat ass. <laughs> You feisty bitch. Good job, Africa. Thanks. <laughs> you totally have a crush on that guy. Oh, no, I don't. That is so fetch. Gretchen, stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. Huh, snatch. <laughs> Drag her. Why should Caesar get to stomp around like a giant while the rest of us try not to get smushed under his big feet? Oh, girl, she is angry. When did it become okay for one person to be the boss of everybody, huh? Aaron, yes, continue on that, girl. I'm trying to get my receipt. Yes, every Thursday he thinks she's doing SAT prep, but really, she's hooking up with Shane Omen. Shane Omen? Omen in the projection room above the auditorium. How do you spell that? Is it O-M-A-N auditorium room? Okay, thank you. I never told anybody that because I'm such a good friend. I have this friend who a new student this year. Oh, hey, that's me. Hey, Janice. I convinced her that it would be fun to mess up Regina George's life. I know she's not fit to expose my ass. No, ma'am, I will drag you all the way to hell. I had her pretend to be friends with Regina, and then she would come to my house after and we would just laugh about all the dumb stuff Regina said. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, oh, yeah, Katie. You know my friend Katie. Me? Oh, shit, shit. Oh, not me. Oh, girl, look at the pretty sunset. She made out with Regina's boyfriend and then convinced him to break up with her. <gasps> that I did do. That I did do that. That's my bad. But you know what? It was a, he was a nice kisser, Regina. I snatched your man up and I said, break up with that bitch. <laughs> you are looking angry, honey. You are just looking so mad. Uh -huh. Oh my god, you sounded like those monkeys I trained in Africa. You need to close your mouth, loud ass fucking bitch. Do you know what everyone says about you? They say that you're a homeschooled jungle freak who's a less hot version of me. Girl, I'm looking at that two cent wig you have on right there. Or girl, I can already tell that you was cheap as ever. Do not call me the less hot version of you. Honey, you looking like a beat up Barbie doll. Don't talk to me like that. Yeah. So don't try to act so innocent. You can take that fake apology and shove it right up your hairy mouth. Oh my gosh, she just...